Palettes are an incredibly important part of working with moving lights. They allow you to set either positions or colors or all forms of data and quickly recall it when you're working. Let's start by looking at some focus palettes first. If you notice, I've taken all four of my moving lights and focused them on our lead singer. If I want to record this as a palette, I'm going to push and hold record and tap focus. It's going to ask me if I want to record my first free palette, which is palette one, and I do. It's going to ask me for a name. It's really important to name your palette so you know exactly what you're working with. I'm going to just call this lead singer. If I now home my fixtures, I can say one and focus and quickly recall that focus palette. It's important to note that focus palettes only record data for focus, so color and beam and even intensity are completely ignored for that palette. If I want to work with color palettes, I'm going to select a single fixture, assign a color, and when I push and hold record and hit color, I'm going to change some options here. First of all, I'll call this green. But we have an option underneath it for record attributes for. When we recorded a focus palette, we recorded it for each device. So it only recorded it for the four fixtures I had selected. If I change it to each device type, it's going to record a palette that will work with any fixture of a similar type. So once I record this and select all of my fixtures, I can now say one color and it will play back for all of the fixtures. So since I assigned it that specific value and allowed it to record for all of the types, I can now play it back on all of my fixtures.